Well, it's quiet here on Belle Isle now, but in just a few weeks, this place is going to be booming with excitement as the Grand Prix races into town. And we're going to take a behind the scenes peek to see what it takes to put on this phenomenal event. So check out all the tire burn marks behind me. As you look down the lane, you can see where all the cars have pulled out and burnt rubber. This is the pit crew area, and this is where the magic happens on race day. It's intense, it's exciting. It's right here in front of the grandstands. Now, what they do is they pull up here. They've got seven seconds, or ideally five and a half seconds, to change four tires, fill them up with gas, and then they pull out and get back in the race. And the reason they want to get as close to five and a half seconds as possible, because that one extra second can cost you 300 and 80 feet. Well, this is cool. You can come out here and actually drive in Belle Isle before the race happens, and you get to see what the race car drivers see. Of course, you drive the track at a much slower pace. This area behind me used to be grass, and it's called the paddock area, but come race weekend, it's going to be full of trucks bringing in the race cars. And to protect the grass so that it doesn't get ruined from all those big heavy trucks, they put in over $3 million worth of cement. Now this big area behind me is called the technical paddock, and this is where they bring in all the race cars and they tune them up. If there's any problems, they fix them here. Again, this is all cement is laid down so that we're preserving the grass of Belle Isle and making it great for race day. So one of the cool behind the scenes looks of the Grand Prix here in Belle Isle is getting to see where the corporate sponsors watch the race from. They are actually raised up off the ground so that their feet don't have to touch the ground in case it rains. But that's also cool for Belle Isle because they're preserving the grass for us to enjoy the rest of the year. So come on up here with me. So these are the chalets that are put up for the corporate sponsors. So they're up here, they're whining and dining and imagine Cars coming around the racetrack, 170, 200 miles an hour, zooming by as they're up here whining and dining. Well, Bud, it's really exciting to be here on Belle Isle and watch the transformation. Can you tell me, like, what goes on to get ready for the Grand Prix? Well, to put on a world-class event like this takes a lot of preparation, a lot of time, and as you see around us, a heck of a lot of work and for eight weeks before the race we'll get into full mode of operation mode and build a racetrack from scratch. Every year we have to leave and come back and build an entirely new racetrack. What are some of the things that they're doing? Are they repaving some of the roads, touching up? I mean what? What's going on? All the above. Every <laughs> every year we put new improvements to Belle Isle and, and one of the big reasons of bringing the race back to Detroit was to improve Belle Isle. Improve it for mm -hmm. its citizens, for the state, uh, for our entire area mm -hmm. because Belle Isle needs some help. So we're re repaving roads, we're fixing lighting, we're fixing the Scott Fountain, we're fixing the casino. We're going to repaint it again. The casino is 105 years old. It needs some help. A lot of property here needs help. Those are all the improvements we're going to make on the Belle Isle. We're also going to build a racetrack. And behind us, you see our chalets. You see fencing and barrier wall. It takes about 40 million pounds of barrier walls to bring on the island wow. to keep those cars from going into anywhere else besides the racetrack. Mm -hmm. Four miles of fence, and all this construction goes on every year. So, but how many people does it take to pull this whole thing off? Well, right now, between now and, and uh, the event, which is just you know, days away, mm -hmm. uh, it takes about 200 people full time. So those people are, are employed now. They're working down here fully on, on our payroll to put the event on. But that weekend of the event will take about 2,000 employees here to pull it off. Caterers, people taking care of our customers, people in the merchandise areas. We have a huge concert stage to put out there for great acts every night. That's right. I forgot. You've got, besides the race, there's a whole other area that's going on of entertainment and bounces and for big kids and little kids alike, right? We'll have a Meyer Family Fun Zone because it's really a family atmosphere yeah. what we want to create here. In fact, on PNC Free Day, we'll have about 40,000 people down here for free. Bring your family, bring your kids, see the racing action, qualifying racing going on, but also enjoy that night Mitch Ryder in the wheels and on the concert stage. We'll have B-52s in concert one night. We'll have Ronnie Dunn from Brooks and Dunn in concert on Sunday afternoon. A lot going on in our area, a lot for families to see, entertainment, but also a lot going on in the racetrack. The fact that you're giving the whole Belle Isle a facelift and then you're leaving it for everybody else to enjoy, I think that's really commendable what you guys are doing. That's so important to our mm -hmm. mission. Our, our mission is to give back to Detroit. Yeah. You know, I work for Roger Penske. Yeah. He's all about Detroit, all about our region, giving back. Yeah. Uh, we consider Belle Isle our backyard. Mm -hmm. and we want our backyard to look really nice. Mm -hmm. But because we're here the first of June, the rest of the summer, 
the citizens of Detroit can use this wonderful area. We fixed it up, we've got it looking great again, and we're back again next year to make it look even better. So the Sky Fountain is getting a facelift again, thanks to the Grand Prix. <laughs> right, absolutely. It's our, uh, it's our third time cleaning the fountain, polishing it. We have workers there right now preparing it, putting new lights in, uh, really making it look great for the rest of the year because it needs some work part of the give back that we make to Belle Isle. Which brings up a good point too, the, the not only what you're doing to Belle Isle, but what you're doing to the city, bringing in visitors from all around, coming to see the Grand Prix here. So important. Yeah. We'll have 100,000 people come across the MacArthur Bridge to our event each and every year. We also have five hours of TV coverage to showcase our city and our waterfront to millions of people around the world, not just here in the U.S., but around the world. You can't buy that kind of coverage. And importantly for our region, the economic benefit. Those jobs I talked about are mm -hmm. important, but also putting people in our casinos, our hotels, our restaurants, bringing them down to the waterfront will add about $50 million of benefit to our region that weekend. So it's a huge weekend. It means a lot of reasons to have it back besides the roar of cars mm -hmm. on Belle Isle. Yeah giving back, but also giving back to our communities economically. Well, but I can't wait till Grand Prix weekend. <laughs> Thank you. It's great to be on the show, but it's also great to have you here in Detroit and helping us out. And we look forward to seeing hundreds of thousands of people down here uh, in the first week of June. Got my seat reserved for the Grand Prix here on Belle Isle, and I can't wait to hear the roar of the engines.